Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we will continue our discussion on impact of plastics on uh, marine environment. So, we were discussing about uh, great pacific garbage patch and the other uh, garbage patches in the ocean in the previous uh, video. So, we will continue the discussion uh, we, earlier we were talking about the sources of plastic, uh, how the plastics are ending up in the ocean. In this part we will uh, start looking at uh, what are the adverse uh, impact in terms of uh, uh, from the plastic pollution in the ocean. Once earlier we were talking about how the plastic gets into the ocean, now let us look at this uh, 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 slide, uh, this, we, uh, this slide where we talk about what, what happens to plastic in ocean. Once they are in the, uh, in the ocean, what really is happening to them? So, as you can see over here, uh, again some, some information similar to what previously that we have uh, things coming from the beverage litter, tire dust, maritime waste which is uh, and uh, needles, synthetic fibers, other plastic litter, cigarettes, cigarette butts, uh, plastic dust, plastic bags, micro beads. So, these are kind of the different sources coming into the ocean. 6 percent stays on surface. Earlier what you saw was 1 percent was for the microplastics. So, here the we are talking about the entire plastic getting into the ocean, total plastic getting into the ocean, 6 percent kind of floats on the surface and just near the surface and on which more than uh, 75 percent it has a size of higher than 2.5 centimeter and less than uh, 25 percent has a size of less than 2.5 centimeter. So, 2.5 centimeter is uh, kind of uh, almost an inch. So, because 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters so or slightly higher. So, it is almost an inch. So, uh, 6 percent of the plastic uh, in the ocean in the sea is floating on the surface level not kind of surf when we say surface someone like just in the surface area not uh, uh, just only at the surface surface and slightly below. So, that is where it ends up and, uh, and 94 percent goes under water. And uh, so, most plastic debris ends up under water and we know very little about where it goes and what harm it causes because it goes under water and uh, it, it because of the leaching of uh, certain chemicals from plastic like bisphenol A, BPA. Many times you go these days to uh, many of the big uh, chain uh, shopping area and you get, try to buy some plastic containers, plastic bottles, it says BPA free. BPA free is that bisphenol A free. We are worried about bisphenol A later in this week. We will be looking at a video on some uh, research that is done uh, by USGS people on bisphenol A on different types of plastic bottles. So, we will talk about that. So, it is uh, 94 percent is underwater, 6 percent on the surface and the 6 percent on the surface uh, the thing is that uh, many of it is coming from the littering which happens on the beaches. So, a lot of littering on beaches. And uh, local authorities, this is, uh, uh, this is coming from uh, European Europe uh, uh, data. So, local authorities each spend around 173,000 euros a year for cleaning of beaches. So, just the beach cleanup cost uh, local authorities um, uh, on an average around 173,000 euros. So, in terms of uh, littering on beaches contributes to the plastic go going into the uh, surface floating. Then there are some entanglement which you may have seen a lot of video. I have also, I will also show you a with some small clippings of the video of that uh, angle. But then if you go on YouTube or uh, Google videos, you will find uh, lots of videos on uh, plastic uh, getting the, the animals getting wrapped around plastic. Uh, even uh, plastic getting into the neck of uh, so plastic wires uh, through like a ropes uh, getting around the neck of a turtle or neck of a uh, bird and uh, sometimes the bird's feathers are getting uh, entangled in plastic and the bird is not able to fly. So, a lot of uh, uh, thing is there and that becomes a problem. So, entanglement 136 species have been affected 
136 species has been affected as per uh, this report which came out last year including 90 nearly 80 percent of seals and 86 percent of sea turtles. Swimmers and divers are also at risk. So, and there was one uh, video which uh, is there on YouTube where uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, those uh, that uh, straw that we use a straw has gone into the nose in the nostrils of uh, of a turtle. So, the floating straw got into the nose of a turtle and the turtle was having a very hard time and these wildlife uh, uh, people who kind of tries to take care of the wildlife uh, uh, population they saw it and then they took it out. So, it is uh, it's, it's, and then it was really painful probably, uh, it have been painful. So, it is, so this, this kind of and it they were, this was a spotted, if it was not a spotted that could have led uh, to uh, a lot of problems for the turtle and may, may we do not, we never know, it may have ended up being fatal as well, we do not, we do not know. So, and then part of it is also uh, uh, getting ingested. So, ingested more than 250 species in have plastics in their stomachs including 98 percent of seagulls. 98 percent of north seagulls have plastic in their stomach. European selfish consumers largest ingest around 11,000 pieces of microplastics per year. So, you are if you are eating European selfish uh, you are consuming uh, around 11,000 pieces of microplastics per year. A plastic microbead can be a million times more toxic than water around it. So, if you have a plastic, uh, so microbead that it will be toxic. So, so, out of that 6 percent that is what we are talking about in terms of what is floating on the surface, 94 percent goes under water. Some of these fragments uh, risking ingestion and entanglement. So, they also kind of uh, broken down and then how that kind of goes into entanglement as well as ingestion. So, they also contribute towards that 70 percent eventually goes to the sea floor with unknown consequences, we do not know what happens. So, 70 percent finally eventually sinks to the sea floor and all the animals living near the sea floor must be getting affected uh, from this plastic at that particular level. So, that is why it gets a lot of uh, media attention it is a it is a big deal in terms of uh, plastic pollution. This is a report from Australia uh, which uh, kind of talks about uh, the plastic uh, issues in uh, that particular area. So, this year like last year uh, it is around uh, 9 million tons of plastic will enter the world's ocean that is uh, the study suggest that uh, out of that rate we are polluting our ocean doubles every 11 years. So, first we have 9 million tons uh, right now. So, in uh, 20 uh, like 11 years from now it will be 18 million tons. Plastic is so permanent that is so indestructible that when you have tossed it in the ocean or even into a dustbin it does not really go away. So, plastic does not go away. So, that is and that was the beauty of plastic why we have started using the plastic for the first time because it is a wonderful material that is what I keep on saying that plastic is a wonderful material it does it has brought in lot of uh, it it is being used in pretty much every industrial sector whether it is a automobile, whether it is in uh, uh, your medical industries you go anywhere you will find plastics. And the reason for that is it is such a versatile material different types of it it can be easily made into different shapes and it helps in providing lots of functions. If from a small uh, like a uh, your uh, a small candy wrapper to all the way to car parts. So, even today if you look at more many of the car the car parts are made out of plastic and that made car lighter and that after making it lighter our fuel efficiency has gone up. So, always it is not that plastic has or plastic has helped in the environmental cause that way too because if the car is lighter your mileage is more that means less gasoline, less gasoline means less environmental impact. 
So that's uh, that's a positive side of it, and you, we can list several positive side of it as well. So the problematic part is we are not managing the plastic waste properly. So it is the plastic waste which is a problem. Plastic by its plastic as a material is not of a problem as such. Yeah, there are certain thin plastic which we have banned. There are some single use plastic which uh, we have got used to, which probably is not good. We should avoid using them, but at the same time, it is the plastic waste. The waste of, uh, and similarly for municipal, we, municipal solid waste is a problem too. Organics in municipal solid waste, food waste is a problem. Yard waste, uh, man, not managing yard waste properly is a problem. Food waste creates a lot of greenhouse gas. Yard, if it can, uh, it's a good source of energy recovery. Similarly, there are variety of waste streams which is a problematic. But uh, since plastic is so much visible and uh, the volume is so high although weight wise it is only 12 percent of municipal solid waste but the, if you look at the uh, volume wise it's pretty high and it shows up everywhere it gets a lot of media attention and it's it's good that it gets a lot of media attention we have to fix plastic waste management problem but again as i'm saying uh, the it is a plastic waste management problem plastic by itself just like if we keep on if we think that oh, from tomorrow we'll not use any plastic i don't think we can even do that because uh, 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 that uh, uh, like we, we cannot do many functions without plastic today unfortunately or whatever we, we may call it we have been dependent on plastic because it's such a wonderful material and uh, it's it's that's why it's used in different spheres thing is that we have once this material it's at the end of its life of that particular material we have to manage that plastic waste properly if we can do that job it's not of a big of a problem in terms of uh, managing plastic waste. Since we don't manage plastic waste properly, as uh, as many other waste stream, it is becoming a problem. So, and uh, so it says plastic does not decompose. That's why it was. It is not actually supposed to decompose because uh, that's why it. The whole purpose of plastic was it. It has a very long life. So you can make a plastic uh, product and it will last for a long time. Uh, it just uh, in, when it gets into the environment, it gets into smaller pieces, it gets broken up. So you will have uh, so single plastic bottles, which you have can break down to ten thousand pieces of microplastics. Microplastic is a toxic uh, sponge. A study shows that it can be uh, one million times more uh, plus can uh, uh, more toxic than uh, the water around it. So that's uh, it's a highly uh, toxic uh, uh, micro microplastic could be toxic. Now in Australia they found that they have 198 to 192 billion pieces of plastic in Australia's marine environment. This much plastic, including uh, every so out of that uh, 180 million from plastic bags, 420 million pieces of plastic bottles trillions of microplastic beads and fibers, 200 millions of other pieces of plastic container and 96% uh, of the all biodiversity potentially ingest plastic. So again these problems are there because we did not manage the plastic waste properly. Had we to manage the plastic waste properly, we will not have these kind of impacts showing up. 90% of the all seabirds uh, are having plastic. The animals most vulnerable to toxic effect of plastic are those at the very top of the food chain, which is actually us. 52% of all sea turtles, 100% of all coral reefs, so they are all impacted by plastic. So it says uh, how what, what we can do. Uh, the first four step, as you can see, 70% of the marine plastic pollution can be prevented before it enters our ocean. How? You try to recycle ban single use plastic bags, remove micro beads from personal care and from laundry product, ensure plastic producers and recyclers capture microplastic on their premises. So these all are talking about how to manage the plastic waste or plastic release from industries properly. So that is what we need to work on. We need to work on proper recycling of plastic, what cannot be recycled like managing of plastic either in a uh, dedicated waste to energy plant, municipal waste to energy plant or somehow whatever like gasification or whatever works in that particular area. Uh, microplastics, micro beads which is used in, uh, in personal care products that can potentially can be uh, phased off. Laundry products use a certain micro beads or we, can, we have to use for alternative materials than the plastic micro beads in those, uh, in those, uh, in those places. So, 
So as again, the approach needs to be more from uh, managing this plastic release, managing the plastic waste properly so that uh, we can uh, go forward in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of having a better pl control on plastic pollution uh, in our surface water and eventually in the ocean. Now, with all this plastic in the ocean, which is already there or which is, which is going to be there, what is its impact? Where, where uh, actually it is creating problem? So, there are, we can talk about, we can think about a mechanical impact and we will also talk about what is known as entanglement. Now, what is mechanical impact? It is, so what we see that around 260 marine species worldwide suffer from entang entanglement ingestion of plastic debris. When such contact occurs, organisms are seriously affected by the way quite often results in death. So, it is the, so it is, it is a plastic which is in, uh, in the marine species which is present, it is getting impacted from the plastic and uh, sometimes if uh, it is the impact could be so high uh, that it can even lead to fatal. Now, what is, how does this uh, entanglement cause problem? It can cause death by drowning, suffocation, strangulation or starvation. Very often birds and small whale species and seals drown in ghost nets, lose their ability to catch fit, cannot avoid predator because of their entanglement. So, they got stuck with some plastic pieces or plastic wires or uh, somehow they get stuck uh, with the, all this plastic waste floating around and the, once they are stuck, they are becomes a easy prey uh, for uh, any predator. So, and then they are get consumed or uh, they cannot eat. So, they get uh, suffocation, they get, uh, st uh, they are uh, starved, uh, they, they cannot eat, they cannot breathe, uh, they cannot uh, swim properly because uh, things have been uh, entangled with all these plastic uh, wires and other stuff uh, in the ocean. So, that leads to drowning, uh, where think they are uh, drowned into the, uh, into their uh, uh, into the ocean and uh, that leads to a uh, fatal uh, situation as well. So, in, and then uh, there is also ingestion, uh, ingestion of plastic uh, when it is mistaken for food, uh, but can also occur from incidental intake. In most cases, uh, actually the, uh, the plastic which goes, it becomes, it goes inside the stomach or throat or digestive tract and cause damage. Uh, or a false sense of fullness, which will result in starvation, because they eat these plastics and they think that the, the tummy is full, but the tummy is full, but there is no, there is no really food, there is, that is not real food. So, it is not digested in their body. So, it is stays in their uh, tummy, but since it, it does not digest it, although the tummy is full, they are not getting any energy there and then that leads to uh, starvation of uh, these uh, uh, species. Some examples uh, that 15 percent of the all whales, dolphins and seals are impacted by plastic as per NOAA, uh, which is a national uh, agency which uh, of United States that NOAA has estimated that uh, 50 percent of all whales, dolphins and seals are impacted by plastic. And they also uh, know another assumption they have, uh, another estimate they have that around 100,000 marine animals are killed by plastic each year because of uh, plastic they are getting killed. In 2018, last year, a pilot whale was killed by 80 plastic shipping, shopping bags. With the 80 plastic shopping bags, the pilot whale got killed. Uh, vulnerable sperm whales are the species most commonly found killed by plastic debris. So, sperm whales are getting killed by plastic debris. And 2018, a juvenile sperm whale was found on the coast of Spain, uh, on the coast of Spain with 30 kg of plastic in its gut, my God. So, they have 30 kg of plastic inside the body. And there have been in Indian uh, contest uh, in inland, in uh, away from the sea, we also see that, uh, uh, that our cow or bulls, uh, they are uh, having lots of plastic in their tummy. There have been some, uh, you will find some videos out there. I think we have one which will play in this class as well, where uh, there was, a, they did some operation on a bull and removed lots of plastic uh, from the stomach because of, because it was uh, making it sick uh, to that particular uh, cow. Uh, so, in uh, Germany, uh, four stranded sperm whales were stranded on German coast with a stomach contained including car parts, a 13 meter long net and a bucket. 
So, that is where uh, all there in, uh, in a sperm whale. In 2013, one was found dead in Netherlands after eating 17 kg of plastic. So, plastic is creating a lot of uh, impact in terms of uh, uh, like a sea life and the wildlife uh, in, uh, for, from improper management. Another one was found in California in 20, 2008 with more than 200 kg of fishing gear and plastic bags in its stomach. In 2006, a sperm whale was found dead in Greece with 100 plastic shopping bags which we just talked about. One of the first whales documented to have been killed by plastic was a sperm whale in France that ingested 30 meters of plastic shedding in uh, sheets in 1989. So, that uh, was uh, the impact uh, from in, in France in 1989, that is like 20 years ago. So, 30 years ago. Turtles, uh, which, which, is, which, which makes a lot of news in terms of the plastic uh, waste uh, impact. All seven species of endangered sea turtle ingest or are entangled by plastic. More than 50 percent of the sea turtles eat plastic. 50 to 80 percent of all dead sea turtles have plastic inside them. The two ocean aquariums great green sea turtle Bob is one of the few sea turtles lucky enough to survive eating plastic. He was rescued after being stranded. So, after uh, so when, when they were uh, stranded with uh, plastic all around them, they, it was rescued. So, that is that's one of the thing peop, uh, this wildlife uh, uh, volunteers they keep on looking for uh, species or the animals or uh, turtles or fish. Uh, not to really feel like of turtles or birds and other things and they try to save them from this uh, plastic uh, entanglement and which, uh, which we see from time to time uh, reported in different news uh, videos and also on you can find those videos on YouTube. Uh, in terms of fish, 114 species of marine fish are known to be regularly entangled in an ingest plastic. At least a million fish are killed this way each year. Birds, two third of all seabird species are affected representing 56 percent of all seabird species. Millions of birds are killed each year because of this plastic uh, problem. 80, say 98 percent of uh, albatrosses have ingested plastic and 40 of percent of their chicks died when they are fed this uh, uh, by their parents because the parents uh, by mistakenly they are feeding uh, plastic pieces to even the, to their uh, uh, child uh, for the chicks and then that led to death of uh, some of these chicks as well. Corals are getting affected, several coral species have been observed starving at the digestive system have been blocked by microplastics or their photosynthetic uh, uh, zoan uh, thalli were killed by being sated by plastic. Land mammals, uh, half of all camels that die on Arabian Peninsula each year are killed by ingesting plastic bags which form heavy calcareous lumps in their stomach. An Indian elephant was killed by eating plastic shopping bag in India in 2018. In 2019, the reindeer in Norway were killed by abandoned fishing nets. Eight African elephants died in Zimbabwe in 2016 by after eating plastic uh, uh, bread bags. So, we do have uh, a lot of impact on, uh, on uh, marine life and wildlife uh, and stiff different animals uh, in terms of uh, plastic pollution. Thing is that unlike humans, uh, Wild animals do not have to do not have the ability to separate. Uh, they don't. They don't know what is uh, what is plastic and what is food. Say so they don't have this uh, ability. They don't have the ability to uh, to discern plastic from digestible material. Simply put, if it looks like food or smell like food or tastes like food or behaves like food, then it must be food. So, that is what their uh, uh, concept is. So, if, if it feels if they, it looks like food and uh, if it is a test uh, behaves like food, then it must be food. So, and they end up consuming a lot of plastic uh, based uh, stuff. Filter feeding animals like whale sharks and uh, baleen whale sharks and baleen whales can ingest plastic by accident. Uh, plastic can get uh, release chemicals that smell like food, triggering species such as uh, anchovies to find it. Jellyfish eating species such as ocean sunfish and sea turtles mistake plastic bags and balloon ribbons for jelly, uh, 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 for uh, jelly. Grazing and scavenging animals such as cows, seagulls, dogs and camels regularly eat plastic that has been contaminated with human food. So, that is uh, we have seen that uh, happening as well. So, plastic microbeads resemble fish eggs. 
and are often eaten by jellyfish, egg eating fish and filter uh, feeders. Seabirds that is skim the ocean surface while flying such as uh, albatrosses cannot differentiate floating, floating plastic pieces from litter, uh, floating food uh, from uh, plastic litter. Sonar of some animals can confuse plastic for squids and jellyfish. Hunting with seabirds mistake a small pieces of suspended plastic such as cigarette lighters for a small prey fish. Red, pink and brown pieces of plastic debris are mistaken for shrimp. So, that is what uh, so different uh, scenarios where things uh, kind of can go wrong. So, now what happens? Uh, the plastic uh, can get stuck in their throats causing them to suffocate or prevent them from uh, that, uh, that regurgating their feet to their cheeks. Uh, plastic can accumulate in animal stomach making them feel full is stopping them from eating and resulting in a starvation. Entangled marine animals and reptiles uh, may be able to unable to surface and become exhausted from drag and drown. Entangled birds might drown or be unable to find food and water and thus slowly starve. Incision caused by plastic nooses can cause infection that eventually lead to death. So, there are a lot of uh, impact uh, that does happen. Uh, floating plastic debris uh, is a spreading invasive alien species around the world. Uh, coral reefs that are littered with plastics are more 20 times more likely to be diseased. Fish larvae are 4 times more likely to eat microplastic than actual food. So, because they take this uh, they feel think that these are uh, because there is the smaller smaller pieces of plastic which are microplastic is taken up uh, is thought as a, a food item. So, this is a one picture as you can see here uh, plastic uh, things the, the, uh, uh, the fish is getting entangled uh, by plastic as there is a plastic right there they have uh, you see the plastic entanglement the plastic kind of have damaged the a body here again the plastic is in the middle uh, plastic wires in the middle. So, it is creating a lot of uh, uh, problem of with this uh, uh, abundant plastic waste in the middle of the ocean is creating a lot of problem uh, for uh, different species. So, here plastic bag or food seagulls falls into this uh, all factory traps some fish mistake plastic for krill sea turtles confuses bags with jellyfish. So, they think that the plastic bag uh, like single uh, that uh, single use plastic bags are more like a jellyfish and sea turtles try to eat that. And uh, here you can see a picture of uh, uh, this plastic uh, actually wrapped around uh, this uh, particular animal where you see that plastic wires are wrapped around on their body uh, creating problem for them. So, you, you will see lots and lots of pictures and videos along this line if you go on YouTube. So, let us uh, look at this particular video and then we will uh, close this particular uh, this uh, module and here in this video uh, the, uh, uh, that, uh, there is a small report on what we are talking right now. This is uh, where they have uh, tried to rescue some of these birds uh, which has been affected by plastic, uh, plastic pollution they got entangled they got uh, uh, there are plastics kind of all over their body they, they are uh, uh, even the, the one bird is not able to fly as you can see. So, let us watch this video and then uh, uh, we will uh, uh, we'll be closing this particular uh, module uh, which will be the second module of week 5. I mean, this bird is actually from a nest. So, this one is ensnared. The more it twists, the more it turns, it gets tighter and tighter. Yeah. Can you get it in nearer? Its foot is actually in there, right in the middle here of all this, unfortunately. This is probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. <laughs> so, as you saw that uh, the birds 
uh, where uh, uh, is entangled with that plastic. There were several other uh, species that are entangled with plastic. So, that is what we have been I have been trying to highlight in last few slides that uh, things does and then this video kind of uh, shows you a pictorial uh, representation of the same. So, this is uh, one of the biggest problem when we look at plastic in ocean where uh, uh, this birds and sea turtles and other species are uh, getting uh, uh, wrapped around with plastic or uh, wi plastic wires, plastic bags and uh, this is creating a problem for their uh, health issues, uh, their uh, food, their nutrition as well as many times they feel full, but because they have plastic in the stomach, but they do not have any energy. So, these are the issues that uh, we have to deal, we are dealing with in terms of uh, plastic pollution in the ocean. So, we will continue our discussion in, in the next video. So, let us uh, close this video right here and uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it on the discussion forum and we will be very happy to answer that. Thank you and see you again in the next uh, module.